welcome back to week two of our home learning. So it, our topic this half term is can we explore it? And I explained to you last time that we're going to be looking at lots of different themes but because we're going to be exploring lots of different things. So last week we looked at transport and we did some transport sorting. We read the train ride. We thought about what we might see if we went on a train, what we could see out of the window. Uh, we went outside and we looked at all the different cars we could see. So we've done lots and lots of different things last week about transport. So this week we're going to be learning about under the sea. So we're going to be thinking about under the sea, all the sea creatures that we might be able to find under the sea. Okay, so the book I have chosen for us this week is Billy's Bucket. And I love this book, boys and girls, so I think you're going to really enjoy it too. So let's get started. So it says on the front... It's the winner of the Children's Book Award. So it's won an award because of how good it is. And it's written by Kez Gray and Gary Parsons. And it says here, there's a little tag from his book that says, very funny with great pictures. And the back cover, it's got a big splash. So what do you think that splash might be? It might be water from his book. So let's see what the blurb says on the back. So the blurb tells us all about the books. Let's see. Billy wants only one thing for his birthday not a computer game not new trainers not a new bike but a bucket billy's bucket is special you must never ever borrow my bucket he wants his mum and dad but do they listen do you think they listen to him when he says not to borrow his bucket shall we find out Billy's bucket. Can I have a bucket for my birthday? asked Billy. Billy's dad looked up from his newspaper. A bucket? You don't want a bucket for your birthday. Nobody has buckets for their birthday. Why don't they? asked Billy. Because, Billy, explained his mum, buckets are, well... Buckets are far too buckety to be a birthday present. But Billy wouldn't be persuaded. Please, can I have a bucket? He asked. Have a bike, said his dad. Or some new trainers, said his mum. Or a computer game. I want a bucket, said Billy. All right, said Dad. You can have a bucket for your birthday. Yippee! shouted Billy. Wow, got all those buckets, boys and girls. The next day, Billy and his mum and dad went to Buckets R Us. There were buckets of buckets or at Buckets R Us. Rubber buckets plastic buckets, metal buckets, garden buckets, farm buckets, builders buckets, seaside buckets and even football buckets. Billy's mum and dad followed Billy up and down every single aisle. What sort of bucket are you looking for? they asked. I don't know, said Billy, but I'll know when I see it. Billy looked long and hard at every single bucket on every single shelf. There it is, he shouted excitedly. That's the one I want. Right up there, 19 shelves up, 78 along from the left. Billy's mum and dad got someone to help them. They all look the same to me, said the shop assistant. No, that one's special, said Billy excitedly. Oh. When Billy got home, he ran straight into the kitchen and filled his bucket with water. There he is, I hope he doesn't make too much of a mess. Wow, said Billy, peering inside his bucket. I can see a rock pool with crabs and seaweed and little shrimpy things. Oh, that's what he can see inside his bucket. Of course 
you can, Billy, smiled his dad. Do you think, do you think he can see those things? I think he might just be pretending. I think mum and dad think he's pretending. Wowee, said Billy. I just saw a shark. Of course you did, Billy, <laughs> laughed his mum. Do you think he can really see a shark in his bucket? I think a big bucket is big enough for a shark. Guess what I've seen now, said Billy, sitting down for his birthday tea. I've seen a stingray and some clownfish and a huge shawl of barracuda. And I think I've seen a mermaid. But it might have been a big herring. Of course you have, Billy, laughed his dad. Billy carried his bucket to the lounge. You can see. Not sure, it might have been maybe a mermaid and a stingray and some clownfish. They look like the fish from uh, Finding Nemo, don't they? That's what clownfish are. <sighs> What's in your bucket at the moment, Billy? Laugh, chuckled his dad. Two submarines and a pilchard, said Billy. <gasps> What's in your bucket now, Billy? giggled Mum. Seven sea lions and a walrus, said Billy. Of course there are, Billy, laughed his Mum and Dad. <laughs> They're laughing at him. Of course they are. You can see Billy's up there. That's the top of his bucket. And he's looking into his bucket and he can see all of these things. Do you think two submarines could fit inside a bucket? I don't think so. Billy was still staring into his bucket at bedtime. Billy's dad nudged his wife and winked. Billy, is it all right if we borrow your bucket to make some wallpaper paste tomorrow? Billy looked up from his bucket and frowned. No, it isn't. There are dolphins in my bucket at the moment. You must never borrow my bucket. Billy's mum waited a few moments and then winked at her husband. Billy, is it all right if we borrow your bucket to water the roses tomorrow? Billy looked up from his bucket and shook his head. There are two scuba divers in my bucket at the moment. You must never, ever borrow my bucket. Billy's dad chuckled to himself and waited a few more moments. Billy, is it all right if I borrow your bucket to clean the car tomorrow? Billy looked up from his bucket and sighed. No, it isn't all right. There is a coral reef in my bucket at the moment. You must never, ever, ever borrow my bucket. What imagination, laughed Billy's mum and dad. It's time for bed. Billy put his bucket away and went upstairs. Thanks for the lovely birthday, he said, and the best present in the world. When Billy woke the next morning, he got dressed quickly and ran downstairs to play with his bucket. But it wasn't there. Oh no, what do you think it's gone? Uh oh. I told you not to borrow my bucket, said Billy. What's happened? I think Dad has borrowed Billy's bucket to wash the car. And what's come out? A big whale. <laughs> it took Billy's mum and dad six hours and three fire engines, four cranes and a shoehorn to get the whale back into the bucket. They never borrowed Billy's bucket again.
see they were all up there looking into the bucket. <laughs> the end. Did you like that, boys and girls? I really enjoyed that one. Should we have a look at the last page really quickly to see what which animals we can see? There's the whale that came out and landed on the car. There's a sea lion. There's a, a octopus. A couple of fish. Jellyfish up there. And then a clownfish down there. A squid. Angelfish. Lots of different types of animals there. I don't think we can see the, the little mermaid anywhere. Ooh. Oh, I think, I think she might be there. I hope you enjoyed that book, boys and girls. I really did. Okay, so we'll be doing some activities around Billy's bucket this week. So keep an eye out and I'll see you soon.